In this lesson, I'm going to go over lesson seven, and that's chapter three. We're going to read chapter three, which is the force of gravity. Okay. And I think some of us read it yesterday in class. Um, some of us will do it at home watching this lesson. And some of us might, well, we're, I think we're going to do lesson 13 in class tomorrow. So if you haven't seen any of the lessons in between, then you can catch up for tomorrow if you're going to be in school tomorrow. Okay, so chapter three. Chapter three, the force of gravity. Okay, so the force of gravity. We're going to read about the force of gravity. Mark is learning from home. He sets up soccer goals. He makes a soccer station at home. Mark will learn about motion in soccer. Okay, so this is Mark and he is learning at home. See his teacher's on the computer like I am on the computer probably for you. Okay, so he is learning about soccer. He will learn about motion in soccer. So last chapter we read about um, JR racing and this one is about Mark playing soccer. Mark kicks the ball with his foot. The force from his foot pushes the ball. He can pull the ball with his foot too. Okay, so he, he um, places some force on the ball. He can push it away from him by kicking it. And he can also pull it toward him by putting his foot on it and moving his foot toward himself. Okay, those are forces, pushing and pulling. Mark trips over an apple. He thinks about the scientist Isaac Newton. Isaac Newton saw an apple fall from a tree. He wanted to know why the apple fell. Okay, so Mark tripped over an apple. So that apple must have been on the floor, right? Because you usually trip on something that's on the floor, maybe a toy, maybe a crack in the, in the sidewalk, or in this case, an apple. Okay, which reminded him of Isaac Newton, who discovered the gravity. He discovered gravity. And that is why apples fall from trees and things fall. Isaac Newton learned about motion and gravity. An object will only move if a force moves it. Gravity is the force that pulls things down to the ground. Gravity pulled the apple to the ground. Okay, so Isaac Newton learned about motion and gravity. Okay, he learned when an apple fell on his head what gravity is because gravity pulled the apple from the tree down to the ground. It probably got too heavy for the branch that it was on and it made it fall and hit his head and then the ground. Mark kicks the soccer ball. Mark's kick moves the ball far and high. Gravity will make the ball fall down. Okay, so he was able to kick the soccer ball up into the air, but it will fall back down. Mark kicks the soccer ball again. He slips and falls. Whoops. Gravity pulls people down too. Gravity pulls on everything. Okay, so gravity is a force. Gravity is the force that pulls the ball back to the ground when it goes up in the air. And it's also the force that makes you fall if you slip and fall or you trip and fall. It pulls on everything. Mark uses force to kick the ball hard. The ball goes fast. The ball goes into the goal. Mark learns gravity pulls everything to the ground. Okay, so he kicks the ball hard and it goes into the ground. I mean into the goal and then it falls to the ground. So he learned about gravity. 
Okay, that's the end of that chapter. Now you can go back and read it again, or you can find some vocabulary words. Maybe um, whoever's reading with you at home will, will quiz you and ask you some vocabulary words. Okay, let's find some now. Let's find the word move. What is move? Move. Move is this object here moving from one place to another. Let's talk about forces. What is a force? A force is something that moves something, a like a push or a pull. There's force. Force. Okay, a force can be a push or a pull, like this person pushing a big object away from them and this person pulling a wagon toward them. Okay, can you find the word push here in the communication board? Point to the word push. Push. Here's the word push. There's the person pushing the heavy object away from them. How about pull? Where's the wagon? Where's the person with the wagon? Pull. Pull. Okay. What about another force? Gravity. Gravity, which is the force to make something fall. Okay. Gravity is here. It's always represented by the tree with the apple falling off of the tree. Gravity. Okay. So find some more vocabulary words. Right now we're going to go on to the questions so you can pause the video and answer the questions yourself first or you can do them along with me. Okay, so number one. One. What is this chapter about? Okay, what is this chapter about the force of gravity? Was it about A, trees, B, carnival, or C, soccer? Was it about trees? Trees. What's it about carnival? Carnival. I, know, I didn't even see that mentioned. How about soccer? Soccer. Soccer. Okay, number two. Two. What does Mark do to the ball? What does he do to the ball? Does he A, watch it, watches, B, throws, or C, kicks? What's he doing with the soccer ball? Watching it? Watches. Does he throw it? Throws. Does he kick it? Kicks. Yes, he kicks it. Number three. Three. What does Mark use to push the ball? Okay, what does he use to push the ball? His A, foot, B, bat, or C, rope? Does he use his foot to push the ball? Foot. Yes. What else do you call that? Kicking the ball, huh? Pushing something away with your foot or be kicking it. Number four. Four. What pulled the apple to the ground? Okay. So remember talking about Isaac Newton and the law of what? Is it A, rope, B, gravity, or C, lightning? Is it rope? Rope. Oh, is it gravity? Gravity. Yes, sir. Will be gravity. And the final question, number five. Five. What is important to know about this chapter? What did we learn in this chapter? A. Mark is good at soccer. That might be true, but is that what we learned? B. Gravity pulls on everything. Gravity pulls on everything. Or C. Apples fall from trees. Apples do fall from trees, but was that the most important thing we learned? Let's see. A, is Mark good at soccer? Maybe he is, but that's not the most important thing we learned. Is it B, gravity pulls on everything? Yes, gravity pulls on everything. That was what the chapter was about, gravity. Okay, so that is chapter three. Okay, and I already recorded chapter four, so our next lesson will be chapter five. So I'll see you soon.